So let's take a look at a neat convergent sequence. What we're looking at is limit as n goes to infinity, radical, n squared plus n minus n. If you take a look at where each individual piece goes, we're going to wind up with an infinity minus infinity limit, which means we need to do more work. Before we do more work, let's go to the calculator and stick in a few numbers. If I put a 10 in here, I'm going to get 0.488. If I put a thousand in here, I get 0.499875. And this thing is pretty much begging us to let it be one half. So let's go to the technique. Well, if we look at this, really don't like having to deal with a radical up here. It would be nice if we could remove this somehow and simplify things. So what I'm going to use is a difference of two squares. So if I multiply this expression by the same expression with a plus sign, We'll note that what will come out will be just take this and square it, take this and square it, and then take the difference. So what's that going to do? That's going to leave us with the n up in top, and then the bottom we're going to have this expression with the plus sign. Well, up top, the n squareds are going to disappear, and they're just going to leave me with an n. So this we can work with. I'm going to divide top and bottom by n, same as multiplying top and bottom by 1 over n. So that's going to give me a 1 on the numerator, for the n in the denominator, I get a 1. And then for the radical in the denominator, we're going to move that 1 over n to the inside as 1 over n squared. So it's going to give me a 1 plus a 1 over n. We take the limit. Square root is a continuous function, so that means I'm allowed to push the limit to the inside. And then that 1 over n is going to go to 0. So I'm left with 1 over 1 plus 1, or a half, which agrees with my numerical guess. Okay, another way to guess this, let's take a look. If I take radical of n squared plus n, note that I can complete the square here. That's going to give me radical. So what do we do? I'm going to take whatever numbers before my n, I'm going to divide it in two. So it's going to give me a half. We're going to square n plus that, and then I'm going to subtract off that number squared. So we just subtract off one fourth. Now, we're taking the limit as n goes to infinity. So if I put, say, a million in here, that one fourth is going to have no effect at all on my answer. So what happens then? This thing is pretty much going to look like the square root of n plus a half squared. And that's just going to reduce to n plus a half. Now, when we're looking at really large n, this expression that we're interested in is going to look like n plus a half minus n or a half. So two different ways to look at this limit here.